looking for a neighborhood that is new construction, but you don't want to be on a super small lot with a bazillion neighbors, we might have a solution for you today. But Jeff, they still want to see house. There's no houses here. We're in the middle of nowhere right now. <laughs> we're, we're a hugger, hugey, huge air. Huge air. Huge air. <laughs> huge, huge huge. If you've never met before, my name is Mark. This is Jeff. We're with the Charleston Area Living Group. And on this channel, we talk about everything there is to know about the Charleston and Somerville area. But today we're out a little bit further and yeah. it's kind of in between Mount Pleasant and Monk's Corner, right. Somerville. We're kind of just on that little but square. But a lot of people that are working in Mount Pleasant and then up in Monk's Corner really might like this area because we are out in the country. Yeah, we're only 30 Actually, minutes. needed the four wheel drive to get to where we're going now. We're right now, uh, we're gonna go to a couple different neighborhoods. One is uh, French Quarter Creek. That one's interesting because it's gonna have two different builders in that neighborhood. Yep. And we got some other ones we're gonna show you around too. Yep. So let's go check that out. And remember, whether you're buying in nine days, nine weeks, or nine months, we get texts, emails, calls from you guys all the time. Keep that coming, we love to help you out. The best way to get a hold of us though is if you click the link in the description, you can book a Zoom and a in-person meeting with us right in our calendars. Look at my leg, the flies. Oh my goodness. They're eating my leg. There's like three flies with me you right now. You must be sweet, I only have one, That's you have three. horrible, get off me. <laughs> all right, let's go check these out. I hate bro. bugs. It's always good to have a realtor with four wheel drive. Yeah. Because this is about the only time you'll ever use it. Right, yeah. There's we, no snow. We don't need this in Somerville. No, often. absolutely not. But if you want to look at new construction lots that are coming in the future. Yeah, we got the Bronco. Need, yeah, we got you. And if it's not a thousand degrees, we can put the top down. Make yeah. it really cool. All right, so we're inside one of the one-level homes here. The Cumberland, right? Has. Yes. And look at the size of this room. So we just had a client in here last week, and they actually bought one of these models. Not this house. This specific house is still actually for sale. But there's one specific reason why he bought it, right? Oh, yeah. Like, he built the entire house around his pool table. <laughs> and so the pool table is going to go right here. And he's still got plenty of room over here for living room, kitchen table this this is a great model so it's a three bedroom two and a half bath one level look how big this island is it's got the nice quartz in it the dark floors if you like that i'm sure they have some models with some different flooring but the white cabinets and the quartz is super super nice is it on heads or tails okay let me i could put my glass on. we just found a quarter it is on tails it was on tails. It was on tails. So that is, means is that, bad luck, right? Is it? Step away from it then. <laughs> Leave that quarter alone. So laundry room in here. Okay. Little drop zone there from the garage. Oh yeah, that's cool. Nice. Look how big this kitchen is too. Yeah, it's huge. So at the back of the house is the master bedroom. Hold on. How can you pass by this huge door and not say anything? Uh, well, I was going to go there at the end. Oh, right, okay. we'll, we'll go out there now. Yeah, look at this. What a view. So these lots, I mean, not that, it's not, but. yeah, <laughs> this one's obviously under construction. These lots are very, very big. And there's a reason for that, Mark. Why are these lots so much larger than uh, what we normally see in Somerville? So in Somerville, we have city sewer. Okay. Here we have septic system. Septic so system. There's got to be some room for the, I think it's called the leaching field and the septic tank. Or the, the poo water holder. Yeah. That's technical the poo water term holder. for, yeah. That's Jeff language. So you, you need to have a much bigger area in the backyard. So that's that's really makes this a beautiful lot out here on the lake. And it's got like a vaulted ceiling too. That's kind of cool. Yeah, you don't see that on the back porches very right. often. They're usually kind of flat. Nice, master. Definitely room for a king size bed. So you all have heard us say this, you know, hundred times by now, but this is a spec home. So it'll be done in the next couple months. You know, it is what it is. You can't pick or change anything in this neighborhood. So they won't me, let me get different cabinets or different No, Mark, tops. you cannot do that. But the good news is it's gonna be done in a couple months. That's that's awesome, right? And you can see around, I mean, they did put nice stuff in so it. So they're still putting tubs in these. Yeah, that's- A lot uh, of our builders are only doing showers. And I would bet you that in some of the other models of even this one in this neighborhood, there would just be a shower. They yep. probably do different in both 
and look, all in the same neighborhood. You and Andrea get along here because you each have your own separate spaces. Yes, yes, because I'm very neat and she's disgusting at the same time. <laughs> just, just soap flying everywhere. I don't Tooth. know if I believe that. No, I've made that up. <laughs> All right, and then the, the two secondary rooms are towards the front, so that that way you don't have to be right next to the kids or your in-laws or Andrew can send me up here. Yeah. So those two and then a shared full bathroom in the middle here. Very cool. All right, let's go show you another one. All right. All right, Jeff, we're at a different builder now, but in the same neighborhood, right? Yeah. yeah, so this neighborhood, French Quarter Creek, has two builders, and we're in the Eastwood side of the neighborhood now, and we're in the Edgefield model, right? Yes, Edgefield. Yeah. So, Can you say French Quarter Creek, like, real fast, 10 times? French Quarter Creek, French Quarter Creek, no. <laughs> <laughs> nope. So the model is almost ready. They've still got some pictures and things to put up in here, but this is a really cool... And Mark, you know this, but they don't. Yes. I actually live in an Eastwood home. That's right. I do. And you like it so far. I do. What, two years now almost? Has not fallen apart yet. So up here we got the secondary bedrooms. Very similar. Nice finishes. This room's pretty big, Jeff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For a secondary bedroom, this yeah, is huge. Sure. And it's yeah. got its own bathroom there. And most probably the trucks. Oh. You can't leave Jeff alone with toys. If you miss me in the video, I'll be back in here playing with the tracks. <laughs> so full bathroom, of course, in between these two. This is, is not this, bad either. Is this smaller though? A little bit smaller, yeah, I think so. So they set this up as the girls' room and that is the boys' room. But this one's smaller. Wait, you, I, I, I'm not, I, we're not going I, there on I, video, I, I'm just We're not saying, going I don't there. think it should be that way. <laughs> Separate dining room, if you like that. Well, look at this towel. Mmm, fancy. I have not seen that towel before. If you stare at it, I might tip over or something. <laughs> <laughs> so Love this big open. space. Really strange water fountain. I still haven't figured out how these things work yet. I try to get a drink from them, but <laughs> I don't know how it works. Got the gourmet kitchen though with the cooktop, pot filler, and the hood. Pot filler, that's pot what filler. that is. <laughs> Farmhouse stainless steel sink. And it looks like based on the model, they allow you to do two different colors. Yeah. She was just saying during COVID, they went to all specs. Yeah. And now they're bringing back slowly. We built our Eastwood in that time frame, and mm -hmm. we weren't able to go into the design center. We were really bummed out about yeah. that. Well, I wasn't. I don't care. But Andrew didn't like it. But you can do pick all your all your stuff in this neighborhood. Uh, this is one of the first ones they're bringing back. Big giant orifice in here. Big one. Oh, look at that. What do they call that? Transient window? Transom. Transom? Transient? Trans. What's well, transient would be if it went other places, right? Oh, okay. I think transom. <laughs> You're probably right. It's a window. <laughs> you can, it's a see-through window. Look at the size of this porch. Yeah, and remember this neighborhood, really big lots on this, in, in this whole neighborhood. Actually with with both builders in here, they, they end yeah. up with much bigger lots. This is huge. You got a nice little pond back there. Wow, this is a massive yard. I wouldn't want to cut the grass. I off. wouldn't either, not in August. This is a big porch though. So. What if you can get a goat? We are kind of out here in the country. You just get a goat and put them in the backyard? It might be legal. We have to check the HOA. My mother-in-law might be able to get that grass. Oh my God. Let her out there go feed in the backyard. <laughs> Let's go see the master bedroom. <laughs> oh, look, it has the double oven too. Oh no, it's an oven microwave. Yeah, that's it. Microwave convection, microwave doohickey. Yep. Under counter lighting. We'll have to see what the square footage of this house is, but it ain't small. No way. It's got to be close to 3,000. For sure. All right. Look, you can get along in this bathroom too. Sink here, sink here. And almost a shower for friends. Yeah. Water closet. You can bring skinny friends in with you in there. <laughs> skinny friends. You can't bring big fat friends. I don't know why you want big fat friends in the shower anyway. But big club. I'm going to bring it back. So yeah. I'm going to start ramping down. Focus, yeah. Focus. Why is there a, there's a stool in here in case you need a stool? I'm not. I'll to change your shoes, maybe? I can do that like this. Yeah. That. I didn't even tip over. I'm proud of you. All right, let's go see the rest of the house. 
So this neighborhood is so you can do spec homes, but they're going to be done in the next two to three months-ish mm -hmm. where they've picked everything. Okay. Or you could build your own and go from the ground up. Mark, do you remember how long that was? Uh, she said months, it was about right? nine months. Nine months. Uh, see, I said eight to ten months. You, I was right in the middle. Right in the middle. The tech, the tech cabinets in this room too, by the way. So this is your garage, and then you have your drop zone here. Okay, decent sized loft. This would be a great office up here as well if you needed a second office. Yeah, I like those little three windows they did just for light out there. So that way you could have your desk right there. Let's see. I can't. I can't see over the window. Oh, you can see. So full loft bedroom. in one bedroom and one full bath up here. So for the most part, this is a ranch home. Yeah, with, with the loft. Kind of like some of our 55 plus. All right, so. But one of their cool focuses house. is yeah. first floor masters. Yeah, yeah, that's their thing. Yeah. But you got to see the amenities in this neighborhood. Let's go see that now. Jeff, what are we doing here? You said we're going to see the amenities. This is it. It's coming, I promise. It's a field. They promise. It's they, coming. They're going to put a pool and a cabana in here. And actually, I mean, this is, uh, you know, not an enormous neighborhood. So it's going to be pretty private with yeah. the big yards, nice pool just for the residents that live here. Where we are now, there'll be a pool and a cabana coming eventually. Okay. Maybe a fountain. Oh, yeah, maybe a fountain. All right, we're out here at Toll Brothers. We're still in Hugey, but different neighborhood called Forest Edge. And you'll see once we get to the back why it's called Forest Edge, because there's big, beautiful trees that are backing up to a lot of the lots here. This one's called The Fielder, and it's a two-story home. Come out and check this office right here in the front. And when you come in, Jeff, look up. Look up, all right. How cool are those beams? Beams. I love that. That is cool. Lots of light in here with these windows up here. It's a beautiful room. Yeah. And then nice wide entryway that definitely goes to a nice, huge open floor plan. And like one of your favorite stuff is those big, huge doors. Oh right? yeah, go open them up. I got, I forget the rest of the house. Oh, they're on, they're on an alarm. Remember I tripped the alarm the other day? Shh, that's all right, that's all right. <laughs> you know I'm gonna do it. You I'm tripping your alarm. Breaking rules out here. Look at this. All right, I'm done breaking the rules. I'm coming in. No more rules. But that will open all the way up. It's beautiful. Uh oh. Okay, good. Go. It stopped. I got it to stop. Did you hit? Did, did uh, it stop because you closed the door? Or did it stop because you, you, you hit have to it? close it and hit the button? Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. But as you can see, the gourmet kitchen here, the big six stop. What? Is, what kind is this? This is KitchenAid. This is a nice kitchen. That's aid. beautiful. You got the uh, water faucet, like Jeff used to call it. <laughs> Pot filler. It's so confusing. I don't know how to drink out of that thing. I've tried so many times. But these are all options, right? We're in a model, so they're going to upgrade everything in here. And, you know, there's other options that will be less costly as well. Yeah. In this neighborhood, for the most part, you know, every now and then they have some specs in here, but they go so fast yeah. that for the most part, you're kind of planning on building from the ground up, but they've got lots of lots available. Yeah, yeah. Lots of lots, lots available. Of, lots of lots. This is a huge dining room too. So you got, what, an eight person yeah. table here. Look at you with Great your math. for Thanksgiving. Uh, it was pretty quick, yeah, right? it was. You counted I was like three plus eight three plus two is eight. You didn't have to take your shoes off or nothing. <laughs> Good size living room though. Of course, that indoor outdoor feel. Yeah, so out here, that kitchen out there. Yeah. Like we don't see that everywhere. That's kind of cool. That is neat. And, uh, you know, the big giant lots with the trees back there, like Mark said. About and he said that. there's lots of lots. <laughs> Did it again. Lots of lots with trees and water, you know, available depending on what hasn't been built. And look at this. Ooh, that's real. Is it tile? No, that's, that's like, it feels like brick. Ooh, super nice. And then this would normally be the garage. Uh, yeah. But they have it set up as a sales center. Oh, is there a bedroom back here too? Yeah, so there's a the downstairs guest suite. Oh yeah, it's got a bathroom and. So pretty big, nice tall ceilings. These gotta be nine foot ceilings or more. Yeah. Bathroom here, closet up there. And then you have another half bath here for your guests and whatnot with a nice drop zone. Let's go check out upstairs. Wow, you're gonna love this loft, Jeff. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm not playing you again because last three times you beat me. Oh yeah, no, so. I, 
I didn't beat you. I spanked you. You did I spank me. It. it was like I got this. some foosball skills. You do? Yeah. Not so much of a long distance track runner, but I got good foosball <laughs> skills. I know what I'm good at. So nice big loft. You got two secondary bedrooms here, but check out the size of these when you go in, Jeff. Yeah, so we don't always see big closets like this mm -mm. in the secondary bedrooms. They're step-in closets where these are real walk-in Yeah, closets. actual walk-in. And you got the Jack and Jill bathroom in between. Ta-da! Well, there's a bike in here. See, All right. the room's so big you can put a bike in here. Mark. 50 bucks for you to try to ride that bike down the steps. Down, down the steps? You're crazy. <laughs> down, 100 bucks right now. <laughs> I got it in my wallet. So you got three full bedrooms up here, plus the one downstairs, plus the loft. The size of that laundry room is really big. Yeah, it's kind of neat how the uh, the laundry room is just kind of right in the middle of all these bedrooms. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. And then we got more beams here. Love the beams. Love the beams. Huge. This is huge. You could um, you could like hang a swing from those. Would you do that? Well, I've heard of. Or, forget it. <laughs> Focus. Huge bat bedroom, but look at the size of this oh my bathroom goodness. and these closets. Two massive walk-in closets. Now I know one of our clients that would love this bathtub. Oh, look at that! Look how deep it is. It's almost as deep as the swimming pool out there. <laughs> Look at this shower. And that's definitely a shower for friends. Oh my goodness. This is How do you get in? Crazy. Oh, crazy. Right <laughs> you have to go over the top, Mark. You have to get a ladder. The glass over was the so top. clean. <laughs> it was so clean. I thought there was more yeah, glass there. There was glass here and there was no glass here, so he couldn't figure out how <laughs> Do you need help taking a shower? Listen, I value our partnership, but there's just some things that I'm not willing to do. You're not going across that line? I, I mean, maybe for a $2 million house, I guess I'll talk about it, but no. In general, the answer is no. This is really beautiful. So a light like this obviously isn't like a standard thing with the builder. Yeah, that's a designer thing. They're struggling with changing light bulbs. I was going to say. Bit. Yeah, they got a few out. Unless... This is just a beautiful room. So we're at Toll Brothers now, four stages in the neighborhood. Just another part of Hugie, and we're gonna go see one more. All right, so we're out at the lakes of Winya. Winya. Yeah, Winya. Landmark is the builder. Landmark's the builder, and yep. this is the lakes of Winya neighborhood. We're out in the country. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I this mean, look. is. This is country. There's ponds and lakes all over this neighborhood. One of the cool things I know driving through this neighborhood is that all the houses seem to have really big garages. Mm -hmm. You could build like three, four, five car garages, it looks like. And really long driveways. So you here's can have the parts. problem. To get in this one, we gotta walk the plank. So obviously this is still under construction. Yeah, and Mark's like, yeah, what? no, I'm absolutely rolling video <laughs> while you climb this thing. <laughs> so if this breaks, Oh my. This will go viral. It is slippery. A little slippery? Too. Yeah, all right. You got this, Jeff. I... Oh God. Here, I'll put out my hand in case. <laughs> it's slippery. You got it, you're almost there. I'm almost there. Okay, big step. Yay, oh, good job. I made it. Look at you walking off like there's no problem at all. <laughs> you stink. What Whoa, kind of model is this? this? Look at this thing. Holy manoli. It's like a... Like a church. Like a barn or a church or yeah. a... Yeah. This is cool. This is way cool. All right, so we'll just figure this out as we go. Yeah, we're going to figure it out as we go. Really big bedroom here. Ooh, nice size. This has got to be the primary. It's got to be with the tray ceiling and all. And yeah, there's a big bathroom big and bathroom a walk-in closet back here too. All right. Nice. Double sinks. So... How cool is When that? you come in the front door here, big double open doors into what's going to be like a living room and then dining room, and then kitchen, all in this one massive room. These these ceilings have got to be 20 feet. No, that's, that's the, to, right? to the top peak, I bet you that's 35 feet up there. Think so? Yeah. Wow. But how cool is it if you had your kitchen island right here, and you get to look out your front door like that? Yeah. That's amazing. So back here, there's two secondary? a drop zone here okay. from drop. coming in the back, and there's nothing back here. Nothing. I ran into a wall. Okay. Secondaries must be on the other side. So, all right. So a half bath here. 
Okay. And then there's like, okay, then laundry's back here. You got laundry? All right. So coming off the back porch, there's like a drop zone room and then laundry here, but we're here. We might as well see the porch. Oh yeah, that's a good sized porch. Oh, okay. Look at the board they have up over here to get on the back porch. <laughs> Look at that. Seriously? All right, I'm, I'm asking you not to attempt that one. Okay. No, no. Get the ambulance on standby. I'm assuming garage? Yeah, totally. That's going to be a four car, three four, car? Uh, at least four. Yeah. And you got two doors from the kitchen out to here. Yeah, so one out the side and then two from the kitchen. That's cool. And then two bedrooms over here. Full bath, closet. What a Second neat layout this is. I like this. I do too. So this one's still available, Jeff, on the market. Oh, so, so they're building this one as a spec. This is a spec, yeah. Okay. And listen, if you're interested in this house, I promise the end result, it'll be a whole lot easier to get in the front door than what you just saw me go through. <laughs> All right, so we're finishing up at the lakes at Winya. Yeah, right. Winya. W I N Y A H. I want to live in a neighborhood that's just got a fun name to say. Winya. Winya. <laughs> but they got all these cool ponds and lakes yeah. out here. They're for well, the name. Four or five of them? Uh, at least we've counted it. They've yeah. got some interesting, interesting models out here. Uh, but I think this neighborhood and all the other ones really show you what Hugie has to offer. Yeah. So up until this point, there's been a lack of new homes in out this area. in areas like this. And so uh, we've got four different builders just today that we've toured around. And, and it's really ideal for those people that want to live in Mount Pleasant and want a little bit bigger yard and don't mind driving. Yeah. An extra 10 minutes. Extra 10 minutes and save yourself a half million dollars. Yeah. For, have, that's true. Yeah, for dollars. sure. So whether you're looking to buy in nine days, nine weeks or nine months, remember, we're here to answer your questions. Call, text, email, send it us our way. We've got a loud truck going by because I'm Mr. Truck. It's construction area, right? It is a construction area. And remember, yeah. new construction. Don't ever, 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 ever go in to the new home builders. But what without... if I just want to look? No, Mark, don't do that. I just I just want to see the don't pretty houses. Do it. Okay. And you can watch another video that we have about why you shouldn't do that, but always check with us first. And it's easy to do down in the description, click the links, drop into our calendars, yep. schedule a meeting by zoom. You drop, jump in the Bronco and come out here to the country with us. We'll do a phone call, whatever you need. Have a great one. See y'all.